Hello everyone. Today, I'll be talking about transformation in the school system using digital technology to create an integrated and future ready ecosystem that will breed excellence. An education system, in my opinion, builds the foundation of not just an individual, but a nation as well. Education for all, and I will go one step ahead by saying that quality education for all is very important, both for an individual and for a nation as a whole. But as we all know, there do exist differences in the education children receive, and even more in education received by girls. And not everyone is privileged enough to receive a good education and consequently earn a good livelihood. Though outliers are there and they continue to inspire many others, we as a whole need to make education system more accessible, accountable and quality driven to identify and nourish the talents of more and more children. So how do you do that? Digitalization is one way rather a strong way to abridge the gap and create elevated level playing field. Digital technology can work as an add-on, creating a system that coexists with the traditional school system and facilitate optimal utilization of available resources. With the proper change management process, including a process that will cater to behavioral changes, digital technology can be leveraged to bring a paradigm shift the teaching and learning methodology and improve not only the education system, but remodel various facets of a complete school system, thereby breaking socioeconomic barriers. And where do you start to achieve it? Well, you could start by making use of network technology to connect the school over the cloud. And then you build knowledge management and information management system with a storage and compute facility. Does that sound a bit too advanced and way too costly? Well, it is not. I will try to explain it one piece at a time. So my idea is to transform a traditional brick and mortar school plagued with minimal teachers and namesake accountability into a mobile school system. By mobile, I imply a school or many schools for that matter of fact, whose systems are on the cloud and can be monitored and managed centrally. If some of you think cloud technology is too technical and extravagant to invest in, well, to implement the solution, you need not have any technical knowledge of the cloud. And costs? These have been plummeting with many options offered by various players, both private and government. Since I have addressed the concerns, let us now establish a network connectivity to connect the school digitally. This, in layman language, is to provide an internet facility at the school. And as we all know, an internet facility can also be provided with a low-cost wireless setup with monthly subscription plan. But yes, the infrastructure to utilize that connectivity is also required. And it can simply be just a low-cost smartphone or a tablet to start with. Based on benefits realized, one can go about establishing a state-of-the-art digital system by investing in network connectivity and infrastructure. Nevertheless, our basic connectivity and infrastructure will enable us to move in the right direction to achieve the end objective. The next step will be to have an online portal that can digitalize educational content and complement the existing learning mechanism, making it more interactive. Services from NGOs working in this domain can be leveraged to take care of the expenditure. The final step will be to utilize subscription-based cloud services for integration, storage, and computation. To cover more schools, the same cloud and learning portal can be utilized while replicating the network connectivity and infrastructure setup across schools. We all know a classroom has students with varied power of understanding. Learning and studying from notes and other materials become difficult for some students. The learning portal, in my opinion, has a huge potential and I'm keen to elaborate on it. By deploying adaptive learning to personalize as per the needs of a student, the portal can ease the learning process, enhance the understanding, and make learning fun through plugins such as gamification. The course curriculum and other content 
can be converted to digital form. Interactive videos and presentations can positively leverage the audiovisual senses of the students. The digital content can be tagged based on the subject, grade, difficulty level, and many other factors to enable easy discovery of the content. By analyzing the activities of the students, the portal can be coded to suggest appropriate content depending upon the grade and ability of the student. Content rating can also be used to recommend the relevant content to users. By analyzing the activities of the teachers, the portal can suggest the right content for the teachers depending upon the classroom being taught, time of the year, and identity of the teacher. It can also be used to suggest content for teacher training. Teachers can save time in drawing on the board, and the time saved can be used in discussions, feedback, and other fruitful activities. The portal can also be integrated to manage the attendance of not only the students, but also the teachers. It can include various discussion groups to monitor and facilitate discussions between teachers and students or among teachers only. Discussion groups can have relevant questions for the students in different classes related to different courses. This will create a collaborative platform through which students and teachers can post questions, enriching knowledge of each other. On a wide scale, it can be integrated with Wikipedia and relevant social blogs. The learning portal can be extrapolated to conduct exams and assess digitally. It can be used to electronically grade the students and also to suggest improvements. It can also be used to address grievances, making the decision-making process quick and transparent. It can be expanded to monitor the health of the students and integrate with the nutrition management system. While it can be used to disseminate the information, it can also broadcast early warning signs for a disaster. So yes, the portal can be widely exploited for its potential and volunteers can be onboarded to customize it. If the school wish to go global, a video conferencing facility can connect to institutes and experts across the globe. Thereby, this digitally empowered learning mechanism will also improve the soft skills of the students by exposing them to the world, breaking the barriers of geography or language. Going beyond the academics, Students can improve their social and interpersonal skills through healthy interaction and participation. Also, the unavailability of a teacher in a particular school will no longer be a deterrent to classes not being conducted. A teacher, while teaching in a school locally, can also connect live with many more schools. Lectures from expert teacher can run in a multicast mode for all the needful schools. And not just the formal teachers, People who wish to volunteer to share their knowledge will be able to volunteer to teach students in any school and from anywhere. So once you are able to connect a school digitally, as I described, you can gradually invest by transforming various associated systems in a school, such as learning management, exam management, nutrition management, staff management, attendance management, and disaster management. While one digitalizes the verticals or the systems, Associated with the school, as I just mentioned, it's important to build a reliable knowledge management and information management system. And naturally, the complexity to manage and analyze the data will keep on increasing. It can be achieved through an integrated report and dashboard management, exploiting the rich and expansive repository built in the process. Comprehensive analysis can improve personalization and increase effectiveness. But I would reiterate that the investment needs to be gradual, implementing the learnings from one's own experience. The last leg in the entire setup, which is often ignored, is a change management process. Some of the ways to achieve a smooth transition and encourage wide adoption include training, generating awareness, and rewarding the right behavior and not just the performance. You might now be curious to understand the key challenges that may surface during an on-ground implementation. So let me try to draw them from my learnings in a real-life project. While the challenges can be diverse and spread across the entire project life cycle, in brief, I could say that on one hand, the remote geographical conditions of an area can make it difficult to connect or increase the operational issues and costs. On the other, the problem of erratic power supply at the school can reduce availability of the digital system. 
Also, schools having contractual staff with a high churn rate may find it difficult to continue the learning curve. Then, despite a change management process in place, there are psychological changes and resistance that are hard to assess and overcome. But knowing that these factors are temporary and common to any new change coming into a system, it becomes easy to find a solution if one is committed to the goal. So I leave it to you to learn your own lessons and evolve as you leverage the digital technology for school system. In the end, all I want to focus on what do you get out of this digital empowerment? And is it worth? In my opinion, the benefits are multifold. It breaks the boundaries of a classroom and fosters self-paced learning. As I said before, the learning portal can be personalized as per the needs of a student, thereby ensuring one-on-one -on -one care, allowing the child to learn and grow at his or her own pace. It provides holistic development of a child and boosts confidence. Also, the setup increases accountability, enhances transparency, improves decision making, and facilitates optimal utilization of available resources. It increases the productivity of the staff and tracks performance. While I can go on to list out many more benefits, the key idea to take away is that we have the technology to transform, and if we want, we can do it. The model indeed is simple. And if you're worried about the cost, I would say in this era of a connected world, there are many ways to bring down the cost. The two important ones are to make use of the open sources and avail the services of the volunteers. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and get going.